Welcome back. Well, some of the biggest names in horse racing will gather in Sydney this afternoon for a huge charity lunch that will buy life-saving medical equipment for the southwest Sydney community. The region was one of the hardest hit in Australia during the Delta COVID outbreak, enduring one of the toughest lockdowns with permits needed to go in and out. So today, the famous Inglis family will play host to 400 diners with a huge fundraising auction. And joining us now is Arthur Inglis, the deputy chairman of Australia's largest and oldest bloodstock auctioneers alongside legendary horse trainer Gay Waterhouse. Morning to you both. Arthur, to you first if I could. Although the event is in Sydney, it's about demonstrating how the racing industry gives back to the local community more broadly. Yes, good morning, Matt, and good morning, Mon, and, and to all your uh, viewers. It, it is about giving back to our community. We are part of the great uh, southwestern Sydney, and and uh, it, it, by the way, that extends all the way from Bankstown out to Barrel, where, uh, where we also live, uh, my wife and I. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it, as you quite rightly said, it was a very difficult time for quite a long period. And we do appreciate all the efforts that particularly the uh, healthcare professionals went to over that, that time. And, and it's good to be able to spend a few moments to recognise all that and ho hopefully raise a bit of funds which will help support their future work. Yeah, it's hard to imagine back then that you'd be there standing in front of all of those tables where people from the South West can actually go out and do things that are normal again. How fabulous. Gay, uh, listen, the, yeah. the, the Ingham Institute does the most extraordinary work. I've spent some time out there. Uh, what they do for medical research really is world class. How will the money that is raised from today help save lives? Well, this is the inaugural luncheon, and even though there's no one here now because it's a bit too early, um, Arthur and his wife Charlotte and the team have really put together to get some very, very interesting and people that can contribute financially to this wonderful cause. You know, this robot sitting over there, and I've already had robotic surgery, so I could tell you it's pretty good. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a wonderful thing, but they're not cheap. They cost a lot of money, and that's what we're asking the people today, to give from their hearts, to dig into their pockets, and to give to this cause. Perhaps Arthur. you should say, it's a, it's a heart... It's a heart uh, the, uh, the robot is, is the first in Australia to do uh, cardiac surgery, so they are giving from the heart for the heart. Yes, well said. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Doctors will be able to use the robot to operate uh, from anywhere in Australia and, and even the world. It's, I mean, in terms of innovation and science here, it, it is quite a, a thing to, to behold. Yes, well, possibly on my level of expertise, but certainly uh, it's, uh, it's a great bit of technology and, and uh, it's good, good to be able to support it. Yeah. And there's a large... It's, so, it's a population that's growing so rapidly mm. out in this area. You know, you only have to drive from uh, Liverpool uh, out to the Highlands and just suburb after suburb after suburb uh, are blooming and blossoming. So we really need this. We need to be able to keep abreast of modern technology and modern, uh, you know, medical science. Uh, Arthur, quickly, give us a bit of a snapshot of today and the high-profile horses that, uh, that will be looming and on offer. Oh, we, we have uh, relatives. Uh, some of your viewers will remember um, uh, Val and Claire from the, um, uh, 19, the 2019 Melbourne Cup, I think it was. We have um, a relation of Val and Claire. We have a relation of She Will Reign, um, a fairy tale winner of the, uh, the um, Golden Slipper back in 2017, I think it was. And a good-looking type of horse, too. Yes. Lovely yes. Yeah, well, I should mention, Gay's, Gay's been about... She's, she's first on farms to inspect them. And no one knows more than her um, the array of horses we have here and, and their and their relatives. Yeah. Yep. Well probably said. Probably the best group of horses. Really. That the, forgive me saying this, but probably the best group of horses, young horses, we've seen assembled for probably the last ten years. We've had two wonderful seasons, and the, the, the lush countryside has just got the horses to grow and mature, and they've got great bone, and they really look. Really look hunky dory. They look great. <laughs> Love that. Well, a hunky dory from Gay Waterhouse is hunky pretty dory. good indeed. Uh, listen, thank <laughs> no. you both so much. We really appreciate it. It is for a fantastic cause. The Ingham Institute does amazing work. Thank you, Arthur and Gay. Enjoy today. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Mark. Well, coming up on weekend.